today we're going to solder on the plugs for a, an ESC that's a pretty common job to do and uh, there's a few tricks to it first trick is to get yourself one of these it's a little soldering extra hand helper and they just make life a whole lot easier when you're doing this job so I'm going to put an XT60 connector on the battery leads and the thing is to put it in the holder so that the little cup is facing upwards and check that you've got the right polarity that's a negative for the black lead now I've got a short length of four millimeter heat shrink tubing uh, this stuff is the, the double wall variety so it's got a, an adhesive on the inside that sticks to the wire when you heat it up and that stops everything moving about so I'll just put that on first and then we'll put the cable in so that it's just resting in that cup with and lay the soldering on across the top and melt a little bit of solder onto the tip of the iron that provides a, a heat contact with the, the connector and the wire to get the heat into the joint and when it gets enough heat in there it'll start to flow across the joint and when you can see it flowing into the cup you know you've got enough heat in there there we go it's flowing in nicely now and that's just enough solder take it out spin it over And line the red wire up the same way again we'll just lay the soldering on across the top of the joint add a little dab of solder to get some heat contact There we go, it's flowing into the cup and then draw the soldering iron away. The other tool that makes life a lot easier with these joints is a hot air gun. We'll just slide these heat shrink tubing until it fits inside. Four millimeter tubing fits just neatly inside those joints. Turn on my heat gun and Done. now doing the bullet connectors for the motor is a little bit different. You put them in vertically. So I'll put that in there and just make sure that little hole right there is pointing outwards so that you can get at it with the soldering iron. And there's no polarity on these leads so you can put anyone in you like. And just rest the tip of the, the cable in the cup. And you don't need to put the, the heat shrink tubing on first because it's easier to slice it over from the end. Okay, now just put the tip of the soldering iron in that little hole on the side of the cup and that makes a good connection with the copper. 
and then feed the solder on from the inside of the cup and touch it on the tip of the, the soldering iron. When it gets warm enough, it'll start to feed in like that. And when the resin gets to the top of the cup, you know you'll have enough solder in there and the joint's done. Now I'll put this heat shrink tubing on and I'll put it on so there's just about half a millimetre of tubing left over the end because it'll shrink back a bit. There's another one, slide it over the end, so there's just a little bit left uh, hanging over the end and again the last one. 